Welcome back to another quick exercise with CAD Jungle. In today's exercise, we're going to be modeling this object from this 2D drawing. And keep in mind, all dimensions will be in millimeters. Let's get started. Create a new component. Select the top view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. Let's create a series of construction lines, one vertical and one horizontal. Add dimensions. I'm going to select the midpoint constraint to tie these two lines to the center point. This is going to be our guide. create some construction circles. Select the center point here. And we're going to use radius instead of diameter to create this circle. Right click, select radius, add dimensions. Instead of drawing three more circles, I'm going to use the circular pattern command. I'm going to let Fusion 360 do the work for me. I'll select the object. The center point is going to be the center point here. Make the quantity four. Continuing on, select the three-point arc, select this circle here, and this circle edge. Make sure that construction is turned off. Make sure that this arc is tangent with the circle. Once again, I'm going to use the circular pattern command. Select this arc. Center point once again is going to be center. Make it a quantity of four. Last but not least, I'm going to add three point arc connecting this point and this point on the circle here. I'm going to select a concentric constraint. Once again, select circular pattern command. Select this arc, center point. And it's set. Select extrude command. We're going to extrude this object. It's about 55 millimeters. Excuse me, 35 millimeters. We're going to create a sketch on this face. We're going to create a circle. Make it 85 millimeters. Selecting the extrude command, we're going to select a negative 20 inward to cut into the object. I'm going to rotate to the bottom. I'm going to create a sketch on this face. I'm going to create a series of two circles. I'm going to use the extrude command. Select this profile. We want the operation to be set to join. We're going to extrude it to a negative 55. Select the extrude command once again. Select the inside. Select the bottom and it'll cut into the object. Let's create a sketch on this face here. Zoom in a bit. Let's create a construction line. Make it 28 millimeters. I want the bottom point of the line to be constrained to the bottom edge of the circle. 
I also want this line to also be constrained to the center point. And it's fully defined. Going back into the sketch, I ended that prematurely. I'm going to select a two point rectangle. I want the width to be eight millimeters. Hit the tab key. I want to make the height to be five millimeters. I'm going to select the midpoint constraint, select this top edge and select the center point here at the top of the line. It's locked into place and fully defined. Select extrude command. Select the profile. We can just select the bottom. It'll cut into the object and give us the desired result. Select once again, select the top view. Create a sketch on this inside face. Create a construction circle. want to set the radius to 32 right click radius 32 we're also going to create a series of construction lines we'll make one line vertical and connect to this edge we'll make two more lines connect to the edge as well make sure this line is vertical I'm going to measure this line and this line 50 degrees off of each other and the same thing here I want to select a slot three point arc slot select this point here where it intersects this point here where it intersects and that point there drag it out select 10 millimeters in width let's drag it out just a little bit select the concentric constraint select this center and select the circle and it locks into place what I forgot to do was turn off construction I do not want construction lines for this object here so I'm going to turn it off Next, let's select the extrude command. Select this object, or the profile, excuse me. Select the back, it'll cut through the object. Select the mirror command, because we want to mirror it on the opposite side. Features should be selected. Select the extrusion we just created, the mirror plane. It's going to be this plane on the inside here. And create that slot on the opposite side. Last but not least, let's create the countersunk hole. Create this hole on top of this face. Make sure we drag it in the center. You're going to see a point where it snaps into place. Distance is going to be set to all. It's going to be counter bore. And let's add dimensions. The width is going to be 22 millimeters. The height's going to be 10, and the bottom width is going to be 13. To finish this up, we're going to select the circular pattern command, select the hole we just created, the axis, we can select this edge here, we want the quantity to be set to 4. And that completes this project. As always, I hope you enjoy these quick exercises. Stick around and I shall see you in the next video.